Hello, welcome to another one of my videos about error coins and this time we are looking at a mint cancelled or waffled coin kindly provided to me by Eurocoin Hunt you know the guy who says yoohoo at the start of his videos because he's German um, this used to be a 1969 German two Deutschmark coin but technically in this state it's no longer a coin um, so Deutschmarks were completely abolished by 2002 in Germany, so the euro could become the sole currency. Um, the Bundesbank would let you exchange your old Deutschmarks and Fennig coins for euros without limit. So the old coins that people handed in still had a lot of value to them if they were to end up in the wrong hands. Um, and that introduced some obvious security problems when you consider there were hundreds of millions, or actually a few billion, um, of the old coins still knocking about. Mm, most, most obviously, I guess the um, they didn't want people to just be able to exchange the same coin more than once. So you couldn't just risk sending them all off to the metal refinery to be melted as they are. Um, it's that's just not something that can be done instantly. So you'd have to, you, you know, you'd end up with like millions of still valuable Deutschmarks being stored at all of the banks before they get shipped. Um, and an even bigger stash stored at the metal refinery waiting to be melted. Um, you know, anyone could pinch them from there. Um, so, and, and the logistics of securely transporting all the coins to a central location in the first place would be a massive overhead. Um, so to solve all of those problems, a company called VDN Eurocoin, which was a subsidiary of the Reinigte Deutsche Nickel, created a mobile decoiner machine and that could be used to cancel coins on site. So you simply pour coins into it, they go along a conveyor belt, and then they run through a pair of profiled rollers that bend the coins, just like this one, which is kind of cool. Um, and that devalues the coins, making them unusable, and therefore safe to transport with minimal security concerns. So you can just send a load of these off straight to the metal refinery to be melted and turned back into new coins without really having to worry about anyone pinching them along the way. <clears throat> so when the man, the myth, the legend that is Euro Coin Hunt came over to visit our Royal Mint a few months ago, he also gave me this set of cancelled, waffled or decoined coins, whatever you want to call them, um, which I may have to open at some point because... They're not very easy to see in this kind of packaging. Um, but yeah, you've got a five Deutschmark, another two Deutschmark, one Deutschmark, 50 Fennig, and then all of the smaller denominations down to a one Fennig. Um, and it's interesting to note that the lower value coins have been um, cancelled with a less complex pair of rollers. It's just kind of put grooves into them, really. Um, and... I guess that must require less energy or it allows for much faster throughput, which is probably quite a big consideration when you've got zillions of coins to cancel. Um, but another interesting thing that Eurocoin Hunt mentioned while he was over here was that some people, some naughty people, try to uncancel these coins by simply flattening them again. And I can imagine that being much easier with these ones than with the higher value ones, which are properly waffled um yeah yeah i could imagine simply putting that through a pair of rollers might achieve something it might make it work in a vending machine but then again what's the issue nowadays when um no vending machines will accept these unless you go back in time 20 odd years anyway i i do like this waffled coin it's got a good bit of history behind it um, and you can easily tell what the original coins were, even if they can't be used readily anymore. Um, I also like how it preserves the edge inscriptions on them too. That's kind of cool. Um, and they're also relatively hard to get hold of, uh, which probably makes them worth more than the uncancelled equivalents. So that's interesting. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. And I hope you found this video interesting and informative. And if you did, please like and subscribe. And I'd love to see what you thought about it in the comments section. Um, don't forget to check out my other Aerocoin videos if this sort of thing floats your boat. So there's plenty more to see now. Um, but for now, bye bye or Auf Wiedersehen.